schedule now, so I know how to <laughs> take care of my body, what to expect, um, time management, um, and then I think that's just being a pro. Like, mm -hmm. uh, just being even more of a pro than I was last year, learning from my vets. When you say being a pro, what do you mean? Uh, just, I, I don't know, I think that, uh, like, the fire is itself, just being a pro, like, showing up on time, not making rookie mistakes. Uh, I guess I know what the schedule is now, so I should know exactly where to be, what time to be there, things like that, what's expected of me. Beyond just being a pro, how much better of a basketball player do you feel like you are since uh, training camp day one last night? Uh, I'm in a way better basketball player, obviously, uh, just from the fact that I got to play in the experience uh, for one whole year. Um, also, the work I put in the summer, um, that's the thing I always pride myself on is becoming a better, being better than I was last year. You tried to uh, finish this point and be way more consistent than yeah. last year. How do you feel like you started that this season with your Um, Like I said, I just know what to expect now. So, like, I guess everything's not, a, everything's not brand new to me this year. Like, I know in practice I got to go hard. I'm a young guy. I got to be the first one in, like, doing drills. Um, I know they expect me to like go to hearts practice, bring the energy and things like that. Was there a level of like you got a weight off your shoulder this coming into this season, knowing knowing that you know what to expect? Oh, uh, yeah, I would say a little bit just because, like I said last year, like everything's thrown in your face. Uh, or at least be more comfortable. More comfortable, yeah, I'm more comfortable. Like today, I wasn't all jittery, like looking at KD and stuff and Draymond like I did last year. Like today, I was seeing these guys all the time, so. It was more natural this year. How were you last year? Were you, were you stargazing last year? Yeah, very. I was very stargazed. I was just watching them in the finals a couple months ago, and I was standing next to them warming up with them. So last year I was very stargazed, but now like it's just Wardell, Day Day, and Katie. It's kind of, kind of like Sean Frank. Did, did you like know there was that level of basketball that you played in the West Finals? Like that, that there was a level of basketball that high, and then how eye-opening was the uh, West Finals? Yeah, I think the Western Conference Finals was the most competitive basketball I've ever played. Um, like I've never had to experience any competition that was like that tough where like at literally every single play counts, uh, turnovers like can make or break the whole game. So uh, that, was, that was definitely the experience. The crowds too. I mean the crowds, I, I kind of uh, black out the crowds, but yeah, just as far as like atmosphere and things like playoff basketball atmosphere. Yeah. Is that those particular maybe 14 days of your life, is that maybe the most uh, developed you can have just from a mental standpoint basketball? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Just Especially since I got to play in those games, I think uh, those, that's uh, for, so 14 days, that's, that's something like you can't teach that, you can't try to go out here and like try to imitate it like you have to play in a tough moment. So you said that you uh, are developing your 12-footer and your jump shots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much how more comfortable are you this year than you were last year? I'm very comfortable just because I know last year, like all the plays, trying to learn all that, trying to learn personnel on my team, how people like, the, where they want the ball at, things like that, how to set screens this year. It's, I know how to do those. I just took out 220 million, man. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> but uh, now I know the spots. So I gotta learn how to try to score in this spot. So are you? You're not thinking as much as you did last time. I'm not thinking. Yeah, more like reacting, finding open spots. Game one, quarter one, you're open for a 15 footer. I mean, is that going up? Yeah, if I'm open. I mean, if KD and Steph not open, and playing not open. <laughs> yeah, you know, if I'm the only one open, yeah. How many pull up threes are you shooting? Pull up threes. Uh, I'm gonna have <laughs> this summer league uh, Jordan Dunn for the No, that was summer league. I had a, we had a whole day. I didn't have Steph Curry next to me, so I I was asked to score more. But obviously, I know my role is on the team. Uh, I'm just trying to extend it more and more. Really. What stuff has Steph helped you with um, the last year? Maybe the, uh, the guy. Just uh, my thing. My, my thing on defense. I was, when I first got here, I was really jittery. My feet were always moving. Um, and he told me like his rookie year, my first couple of years, he was doing the same thing, and he learned just to like calm down, relax, um, and just like just play defense. Like don't worry about you can't get to relax when you're playing defense. You can't be all energized because like people are reading your feet, uh, they getting the beat. Like you keep doing this, eventually when it's like they gonna see the timing and all that. So he's like just relax, uh, try to be, uh, I guess, not on beat. I guess was the word. Uh, Oh, but like, just don't don't keep doing the same thing. Switch it up a lot. Right. Yeah. right. Guys, we're talking about losing the presence of D West. Um, for you, I mean, what do you miss? What will you miss? How do he help you? And what, what will you miss about his uh, him not being here? D West, uh, to me, personally, he was like a coach on the bench with us. He's always always had something to say about every single player, good or bad. 
Um, so, and he's a vet, so he's been here a long time. So every time we talk, like if a play happened, you would see me just do this, just to like try to read it, but just see what kind of input. If I don't understand something, I'm always looking at him. I don't know he's gonna comment on it in some way. So um, definitely gonna miss out a lot about him. Um, and then also he just tried to help us simplify the game as much as possible. Obviously with the way we play with stuff, it's, uh, we call it controlled chaos. So for me, like, being a rookie last year, it's charming hard going from like a set system to mm -hmm. us where we just play basketball. Um, so he tried to help me simplify things like that. Uh, so I'm, we, we definitely don't miss that about him. How did Jordan do uh, Steph was saying yesterday, like one way beyond the obvious of when to win the title again to keep the guys engaged, just like setting mini goals for each other. Like, has he talked to the guys about how the light is? Um, I mean, he talked to me personally. Maybe some of the, like, the guards and stuff, like more people he's around. Um, I know me and KD have talked about stuff like that and Draymond, but uh, I didn't talk to Steph about it. How did you, uh, how did you work on your game, uh, trying to get better and expand your game while knowing the limits you have with this offense? Yeah, um, just figuring out, um, like the drills I do, I wasn't doing crazy drills, like 30 million in and out, in and out, and then pull up, like I'm just trying to focus on scoring in a, scoring on ways that I actually move on scoring the game. So I'm picking rolls, uh, corner shots, uh, different type of screens to get out, and then uh, going to the basket, uh, different finishes, things like that. Jordan, what have you guys been able to see from uh, DeMarcus up to this point? Uh, I mean, he's getting better every day. Uh, the last two weeks, he's been uh, working out with me and DJ, like little drills that we do. Um, he's getting healthy. I mean, he can still shoot, still can handle the ball. I'm um, obviously not 100% healthy yet, but he, every day you can tell he's getting a little better and better. Is he more advanced than you were expecting? You know, he's probably hurt. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's like people kept saying like he wasn't gonna play until February or March, but I mean, he's moving pretty good right now, so I don't know. Has he been talking about? I mean, obviously he's not gonna come back from game one, but yeah, I yeah. Been saying, like I, I didn't talk to him about that. Um, I try to. I understand like going through energy, even rehabbing since February, um, so I don't want to, I guess, get his hopes because I don't want him to be even have to bring that up. So like, when we talk about like life or him just like helping me with like little tips and stuff like that, and that's what I'm how bad did your injury, your injury last year sort of sidetrack or derail your, your own development? You uh, missed a bunch of weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wouldn't, I mean, obviously six months you can't, I mean, six weeks you can't hope, but um, I think that was a learning moment for me. Like I said, uh, coming back, uh, things weren't going as uh, easy for me as they were before. So um, I had to learn to kick it into extra gear that I wasn't, I guess my body, and I wasn't really, uh, really used to doing. Mm -hmm. um, but now I'm trying to stay consistent with that same energy and that same pace like that. So I think I think it was a blessing in this guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, JB. Yeah.